Wolf Lazama. What's up, sir? What's up, bro? How you doing today? Good, man. Good to finally yeah. uh, talk to you face to face. I know I've been hitting you on Twitter and uh, for a while now. And then the other day I was like, and who am I sleeping on? Who do I need to pop on the show? And everyone, <laughs> everyone said you, man. So uh, you're the people's champion. Glad to have you on here. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, uh, that definitely warms the heart, man. I know people would think it goes straight to your head and stuff like that, man. But it just it, it feels gives you a warm feeling in the heart. It feels good, man. So I appreciate that. That was awesome. Was not expecting yeah, so, it. Yeah, man. Uh, so Wolf Lazama. So Wolf, are, are you native? Yeah, I'm native. Um, I'm originally from Salinas over there in California. Yeah. And uh, I'm over here in Arizona for the past like six years now. So, um, yeah. I got to go back to Salinas actually this coming week. So, yeah, I love that area, Salinas. I want to move to Aptos, man. That's why I keep trying to. I want to build a house in Aptos right off, right off there. It's close to Salinas, man. But uh, yeah, I don't yeah. think you could go wrong with that area. Yeah, close to yeah, Santa Cruz, exactly. right? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm big yeah. out there. My when my kids graduate in three, three and a half years, that's my plan mm. is to move out that way. So. Um, little but yeah, well, that's a cool ass name. That's why I wanted to ask you. I figured that <laughs> yeah. it's because you were native, man. It's dope. Uh, let's see. We got some people in the chat, and then I'm going to dive in here with some questions for you. Okay. Um, everyone is saying, <laughs> I got some, there's some silly people in this chat, man. Um, all right. Let me get back to these questions. Um, but Wolf, just give me your uh, general thoughts on this game going into it. What are you looking forward to? What are you you're thinking about it? All that good stuff. Well, first of all, man, um, yesterday I checked out the news. You know, I check it daily because it always changes, right? So um, for we got what we had for weather, 70% rain or chance of preci precipitation for uh, this Sunday's game. And I checked it today and it's dropped to 40%. And all that 40% is supposed to be before the game. <clears throat> so just that in itself kind of changed the matchup for myself because um, – when I saw the rain, I was like, okay, that's probably advantage 49ers since the Dolphins lean on the pass game so much. Um, yeah. That kind of, I think that kind of limits uh, Tyreek Hill and uh, Jason Waddle um, to a certain degree. <clears throat> but now since it's dropped, probably still going to be a slick field, but the ball most likely is going to be dry. So um, that opens things up for the Dolphins, I think. And um, the number one thing is can the D-line – get to Tua <clears throat> and make him hurry up and get the ball out of his hands before the safeties have a chance to get beat over the top. And I hope our, our safeties can't keep up because, you know, Hafung is not known as the fastest guy. Tayshawn Gibson is aging. So uh, that's definitely one thing I'm going to be looking at, man. And little, little worried about it. Not going to lie. Yeah. yeah. Me as well, man. I think that's uh, something I'm, I'm, uh, a little concerned about too. I think we really have to get to Tua quickly. It'll apply a lot of pressure because I'm I'm concerned about our DBs and, and I think they're great. You know, I love them all, but that that yeah. speed that Miami has is is dangerous. So uh, if Tua gets time and and he's comfortable in that pocket, it it could be a, a a scary situation. So the title of this show, it's a little clickbaity, right? <laughs> I asked uh, who's the real genius, right? Mike McDaniel, Kyle Shanahan. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts and then you can tell me what yours are. Personally, okay. I don't think, I, I really don't think there's not many geniuses in football. Like football kind of a kid game is you don't really have to be a genius. Like you could be a great coach and not really be a genius. I think that word's thrown around a lot. Um, but let me ask you your opinion, man. And you don't, it doesn't have to be either, but who's the real genius, Mike McDaniel, Kyle Shanahan, or neither. What's your opinion on, on that subject? Well, I definitely think Mike McDaniel uh, has the advantage in both like both aspects of the game, both socially. Uh, it seems like for whatever uh, he he seems to be like be this awkward guy, but he, he tends to mesh well with players, which is super weird. So he has the advantage socially. I don't know what the hell is going on with Kyle Shanahan growing up a rich boy and all that stuff, I think had an effect uh, kind of like York and those super awkward draft calls he has. Yeah. <laughs> where you, just, yeah. you can tell, you can tell he's forcing it, man. But, um, um, <clears throat> and then from an analytical standpoint with um, Mike McDaniel going to yell and stuff, he's super smart when it comes to X's and O's and numbers and stuff like that. So I think he has the advantage there too, to where, he learned certain things about football from Kyle Shanahan sitting in those defensive meetings and stuff like that. And I think he has the potential to take it to another level. So that's scary, man. And it's unfortunate. I wish there was a way um, 
like for me, I know on my channel, I talk about all the time how I hate how we see complete turnover all the time in the NFL. And uh, I've heard Grant talk about like it's mediocrity in the NFL. And I, I disagree with it being mediocrity. I think it's just so much turnover around the league, so much rotation with players and coaching staff and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And the NFL, you know, they changed the NFL with the salary cap, first of all. Right. And then, um, well, not first of all, but then the draft too is another thing. So it's like I, I would prefer to see like just attack it on one front so we don't see so much turnover. Maybe we could give D'Amico Ryans uh, such a nice contract that he decides to stay and not go be a head coach somewhere, uh, stuff like that. But, um, yeah, back to your question, I, I'd say Mike McDaniel has the edge when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, man, I have to agree. I know a lot of 49er fans are going to be mad about, about that. But didn't Mike McDaniel go to like Harvard? I think he went to Harvard or something. One of those yeah, he went. He went to Yale. Yeah, Yale. So he went to Ivy League school, which is a, a very good testament. Kyle yeah. Shanahan called Mike McDaniel the computer, right? Like, <laughs> I'm telling so you, man. That's a compliment from Kyle Shanahan to Mike McDaniel saying that he's as smart as a damn computer. Yeah. Um, so even Kyle Shanahan kind of tipped, tipped uh, his hat on that one uh, a little bit. And then you, you uh, touched on something that I wanted to follow up and ask you another question. Who is the better leader? Mike McDaniel or Kyle Shanahan, do you care to like reiterate what kind of what you were talking about and hinting at? Yeah, I guess I jumped the gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, all right. Man, but, you know, it. when you hear all the things that are coming out of like, and we've seen it, right? The press conferences and stuff like that with Mike McDaniel, where he's given praise towards like Tua and just his players overall, giving them the confidence to be able to compete. Like even just taking guys like Sherfield and, uh, uh, Craycraft over to Miami with him and giving them a role in the offense gives them the opportunity. And when you're playing with that confidence, man, it's a whole different level rather than somebody beating you down. So I know that first and foremost, from a player standpoint, I played. So, um, um, yeah, I definitely know that stuff. <laughs> yeah. But, um, you play, and then you play football in high school or what did you do? Yeah, actually I didn't get to, I played freshman year in high school terrible with my grades I was always terrible in school because I, I was a dickhead man but yeah. I ended up going so I basically went straight to college everybody always wanted me to play because you know I'd play at recess and stuff like that um go to like the turkey bowl all that stuff but yeah. um I ended up playing in in college in Hartnell College in Salinas and we nice. balled out man that was yeah it was badass but um what position did you play I played wide receiver Oh, dope. So, so it's like actually when going back to that man playing wide receiver, um, I heard certain people criticizing uh, just Jimmy Garoppolo on the play where it was an almost interception, they said. And I was mm -hmm. like, dude, that's where, uh, for example, myself, I've, I gave the quarterbacks confidence that I was going to go up and get the ball no matter who I was matched up with. Um, they used to t say to the other receivers, like, we're throwing it to Wolf because um, – we have the confidence that he's going to be the one coming down with the ball. And Jawan Jennings, he's so big that he, you have to throw him those those 50 50 balls. And we see a lot of times it goes the 49ers way with even defensive pass interference and stuff like that. That's where you got to show from Jawan Jennings' standpoint, you got to stick your foot in the ground, high point that ball, and uh, show that you're the bigger guy first and foremost. So, um, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I'd like to see more of that, man. Like just to, in general, because you know, you watch a lot of the good quarterbacks uh, in the NFL. If they see a matchup that they like, they just give their receiver a chance to make a play. You know, they don't have to be wide open. They just throw it, throw it up, and let them go make a play. And uh, I think I would like to see more of that uh, in this offense. And I don't know if that's Jimmy or Kyle that discourages that type of thing, um, but we don't yeah. we don't see it a lot in this offense. I'd like to see more of it, to be honest, especially like yeah. guys like Ayuk and Jennings. Those guys can go get it, you know? Yeah. I mean, if if we saw it with Tevin Coleman and he got uh, went up and got the ball, <laughs> then I'm pretty sure Juwan Jennings could be a guy that could do that, man. I would throw more 50-50 passes to him because he's like the biggest receiver on this team when it comes to um, his wingspan and his uh, physicality. So. <clears throat> I would like to see that. And I want to see him sticking his toe in the ground and high pointing that ball as well too, helping his quarterback out a little bit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And then it, back to this uh, question. Um, I think, you know, I, I agree like, as far as the leadership thing. Well, I'll, I'll tell you this, me personally, if I'm playing football, I'd rather play 
for a leader like Mike McDaniel, to be honest with you. I know for, yeah. 49er fans are going to kill us on this topic, but because, <laughs> you know, a lot of them just want us to be Kyle Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan. But, yeah. like, I, I just like the way Mike McDaniel leads. Like, one of the first things he said, and everyone ripped him for it, was uh, Tua is one of the most, what do you say, the most accurate passers he's ever seen, I believe is what he said. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Gassing him up. Build these guys up, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let, let's see what we got going on here in the comments real quick, and we'll get back to our questions. Uh, Ty, what up, Faithful? What's up, sir? Tanya says, nah, Kyle just old school, Mike's new school. Yeah, but, you know, we're living in that new school world, right? Um, yeah, it's part of it, man. Yeah. And Miss Ty, congrats on the milestone. Thank you. Appreciate it. Let me see what else we got in these comments. <laughs> Any questions? Any questions? Uh, let's see. Tap out says, I don't think either is a genius. Mike McDaniels definitely has the advantage. The goat on Grant Channel described Kyle Shanahan perfectly, a silver spoon fed son with a label, last name. Ouch. Okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, hey, it, truth hurts sometimes. Maybe that, yeah, that may be right. All right. Uh, Wolf, next question I have for you, man. Can the beat up Miami O line stop this 49ers pass rush? I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> even with Armstead and Kinlaw out, this uh, D line has kind of ramped it up, man. And um, really, I mean, if I talk about the whole defense, you know, ever since Mosley went down, we kind of had those hiccups with Falcons and the Chiefs. And I think uh, the defense has kind of acclimated to uh, having those new pieces fill in and come together as a whole and uh, become a better unit ever since then. So. <clears throat> the D line has shown a lot of good things, man. Uh, Drake Jackson's getting a little more of a role in the the defensive line as well. Um, the guys that have been there are um, have been filling in really well, admirably. And Armstead's coming back, so um, everything that I've been hearing from Armstead coming back is that not only is he set to to play and looking good, but seems like every day is better and better. He's trending in the right direction, is their words. That's what they're saying. So very confident. Yeah. yeah. No, I think that's uh, I think that's dead on. Uh, let me let, let's answer this question from Ty. Um, Kyle coached his team a Super Bowl and NFC in the last three years. How is he old school? So, do you want to answer that, or do you want me to answer that? Oh, uh, I, I can start. I guess. I mean, um, I think obviously he took a lot from his father, and even uh, at the beginning of his tenure, and for here. Uh, a few years with the 49ers, uh, we saw my, Mike Shanahan in the background. Um, you know, we didn't know how big of a role he was playing, but, you know, he's he's helping his son out. Right. And so he's taking all those um, a lot of those coaching standpoints from his father. That's where he gets his style from. So and that style is old school. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I could boil it down to. Yeah, I think, you know, his and that's the thing is, uh, you know, he does a lot of great things in the running game the shifts and things like that. His overall uh, – what's the word I'm looking for? Mentality? Yeah, like his overall, like, just run first defense. I mean, that's as old yeah. as it gets for, for, <clears throat> in that regard. Um, yeah. But when, I, when, I, when I'm talking about his old school, I, 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 I'm talking about more of the leadership aspect as opposed to, like, these new coaches. They're more of, like, the <clears> – relating to the players on their level, whereas uh, Kyle Shanahan's, like, this is how it mm -hmm. is type thing, which is – which is old school. That's what I meant by that tie. Um, so just and to answer your question. Not, not only that, like um, he kind of had a similar situation with me when he played wide receiver in college, man, to where the coaches didn't even want to let me because the coaches at our college, you know, they drafted guys from all over the country. We had guys from Baltimore, um, from Hawaii, from Chicago, all this stuff in Salinas, bro, to play <laughs> college football. And so I was a walk on. I had to compete with that and they didn't even want to let me dress and I had to fight for my spot. And that's kind of what happened with Kyle Shanahan as well. He was super underestimated. And so um, he's always seen, especially wide receivers, you've seen like with Brandon Ayuk putting him in the quote unquote doghouse because he wants to see them overcome that adversity that he had to. So he's trying to put everybody in his shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a second? Cause Kelsey's in backstage yet. And I got some co more questions I wanted to go through okay. if that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Lita was on last night. Um, I don't know if you caught the show last night, but we were talking about Trey Lance versus uh, Kyle and uh, Lito tends to disagree with mostly everything I say, it seems, but <laughs> 
It says, funny how Kyle is respected everywhere except by 49er fans. Uh, Lito, in my opinion, man, I don't disrespect uh, Kyle Shanahan. I, I give him a B. I have him a higher grade than, than Jimmy. I, I rank him as a B coach. It's not that I think he's a bad coach or that I don't respect him as a coach. We're just talking about the differences between him and and Mike McDaniels. Uh, do you feel the same way, Wolf? Or? I think um, a lot like 49er fans, we expect greatness. And so the mediocrity that we've seen from Kyle Shanahan, and it takes him a long time to learn from his mistakes. You know, we talk about things with the running backs where um, you want to close out games with CMC at the end of a game when we're blowing teams out and stuff like that. Like, uh, why do we have to tell you this? This should be common sense. So it's stuff like that. I love what he's brought to the 49ers organization, but we want to see him continue to to progress in his coaching because he's still a young guy. He's still a young coach, whether anybody wants to believe that. Look at him when he got hired versus now. He's <laughs> he's, he's gone through some stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's actually my age. Uh, we're both, both born in the same year. Uh, yeah. It's funny when you look at him and he was like so baby faced and now he's got this old gray yeah. beard. And I can actually relate. Yeah, no, I, I don't hate Kyle Shanahan. I'm glad. He, I think he's a B coach. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll give him an A when he builds that high power scoring offense or if he wins a Super Bowl, then I'll move him to the A spot. But until then, that's just all I'm waiting for. I don't disrespect Kyle Lito. Uh, I want you to understand yeah. Yeah. Th that opinion. The guys, we're going to talk about uh, make sure to vote Pro Bowl for Tabor <laughs> Pepper. <Hey. laughs> OK, uh, let me see what else guys are talking hey, about. Shout out. Right shout out, Brian, man. That's uh, that's been my goat in my corner for for a long time since I started, man. So, Brian, shout out, bro. Thank you, as always, and Tony and um, everybody that comes show support. But uh, just getting back to Kyle Shanahan real quick. Um, mm -hmm. Like I said before, 49er fans, we expect greatness. What it, I think what it boils down to is we're pushing him to progress. And it seems like, you know, the stuff that, of course, uh, Grant was probably the first one to start with it. But we started to see those things. So it's like, are you guys watching the show or, you know, it, it almost became on a weekly basis. So the 49er fans are just pushing Shanahan to to make these uh, corrections, corrections, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I agree, man. Um I'm going to pop in a couple more of these uh, comments and then we're, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Um, Kelts is still not here for whatever reason. So uh, we'll just okay. keep, it, keep it rolling until my guy Neil pops on if you have time. You, you don't have to. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, no, man. No rush. Glad I feel to like have you. Uh, not a fanatic podcast. What up, ballers? What up, Pete, man? Glad to have you here. Uh, Eddie, what's up, Ryan? Talofa from Samoa. Go Niners. What's up, sir? Hey. Thanks for checking in, Eddie. Uh, I think I told you guys before my wife is uh, half Samoan. So got a lot of love for the Samoan uh, people as well. Uh, thank you for, yeah. for dropping in. David Hasselhoff from Baywatch says, it's funny how Kyle's an offensive genius, but he's been carried by the defense every year. Yeah, man, you, you, you hitting those, those uh, touchy points. It's true, man. I, I agree. And that, that's something I say often. Again, I'm not here to beat up anybody on the 49ers. I'm, that's my team, man. I, I root for them. I support them. But you're making a real point. Like he's known for his offense. Uh, he's supposed to be the offensive genius, but he's honestly, the defense has been what's carried this team for, for pretty much every season. Um, I'll, so you, go ahead. What I, what I would say on that man is, um, <clears throat> cause I, I was saying this before I, I was telling people, I was like, uh, everybody says Kyle's an offensive genius, quote unquote. I haven't seen it first and foremost, um, at least especially in the recent history. But when you go back through Kyle's history, the reason he became a quote unquote offensive genius was he was staying in the defensive meetings and learning um, football from the defensive standpoint. And so I think that's why the 49ers um, have been able to develop uh, great defensive coaching and um, they're just really good at defense defense overall. And I think, uh, you know, other people have put that label on Kyle, but I think he's probably understanding the defense more. Yeah, you know, and uh, to give Kyle credit, he's really good at putting uh, good coaches around him, uh, yeah. particularly on the defensive side. So, the, yeah. you know, Kyle does things well, man. Don't, don't get me wrong, Ty. Yeah. Ty says, let's see how much respect you have for Kyle when he bitch slaps McDaniel's team on Sunday. Hey, <laughs> if he does that, Ty, okay. I will definitely – that will definitely raise my respect level for the guy. So I'm, I'm hoping he does, man. I'm hoping yeah. he does, bro. hope he bends him over and spanks him. 
<laughs> uh, David says, Kyle ain't slapping shit. Boys never fought a day in his life. Man. <laughs> Uh, can't have a high-powered offense uh, when your quarterback only throws four-yard in-breaking routes. True, Ty. Here's my question for you, though. Who is responsible for bringing these quarterbacks to the 49ers? That would be your boy, Kyle. Um, so that's on Kyle. Ultimately, it goes back to him. Okay, uh, Wolf, I, man, it's my second one. Hey, I appreciate you, Eddie. Yeah. Yesterday, GTC got me one. Eddie today uh, comes in with the uh, – Super chat, very true. Niner fans expect greatness on offense. I mean, yeah, I've been, yeah. I've been a 49ers fan my entire my entire li uh, life, and uh, I grew up with higher power offenses. And here's the thing about Kyle Shanahan, man. Like, he's had a top three, a top ten offense. He's been an offensive coordinator and a head coach for 15 years. He's had a top ten offense three times out of 15 years, three times. So I, I don't think we're being like overly critical on the guy. Yeah. I think we're just being we're just being honest. Um, yeah, you can't blame my... Jimmy. Can't yeah. blame Jimmy, man. Yeah, like uh, you said, he brought him in. Yeah, exactly. All right, he's responsible for bringing his quarterback in. He's responsible for um, developing them, and you know maybe he maybe he hit on Trey Lance. We'll find out soon. Um, yeah, can I touch on the offense real quick? Yeah, please do. Because I know you asked me about the matchup, and there was two matchups, right? There's a defensive and offensive. I think special teams has been playing pretty well, um, of course, and I think they haven't been getting their shine. But that's the other matchup. Which offense are we going to get? So that's mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to be looking for, especially at home for whatever reason. The 49ers don't play super amazing at home, so it's weird. But um, that's the big question mark is the offense. Which one are we going to get on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, Wolf, uh, Keneal jumped in the backstage because I think he saw that uh, Kels wasn't Kels. able to make it. So I'm going to pop okay. him on uh, and we'll get him going. I, I can't thank you enough, man. You did a great job. Now I understand why everybody told me to get you on here. <laughs> um, I put the description to – to connect with you on Twitter as well okay. as uh, how to subscribe to your channel. It's in the YouTube. If you guys have not subscribed to Wolf yet, uh, please do. Do you have anything going on between now and the game? No, um, I should be doing a stream today. Might be a call in. Um, love to have um, everybody that kind of jumps into the channel, get their thoughts and opinions about the game, especially, but yeah, Ryan, I appreciate you, man. Thanks for having me on and everybody that shot me that compliment. I really appreciate it. All the support. Um, yeah, just, I'll be on Niner gang Wolfcast. Right on, man. And I'm going to, I'll reach out to you, man, to see if we can get a permanent weekly time that works for you. Yeah. If, if, if that's, if that's cool with you, man, I love that. Yeah, of course. You have me coming on every week. Yeah. That'd be cool, awesome, man. man. Thanks brother. Have, have a great day, man. Likewise, brother. Take care. All right.